Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Monday, August the 16th, 2021. Today we're pulling from the Dark Wood Tarot cards. So we have the Wheel of Fortune coming in. So Luck Jupiter is on your side. The wheel is moving forward. You are moving forward in life. We have the Five of Swords. So basically people are going to try and start arguments with you. They're going to sit there and they're going to say things. Just get a reaction out of you. And you're like, here, take your swords. Take your pettiness. I have no place for you in my life no more. Go away. We have the King of Pentacles stepping forward, offering you order and structure. Very emperor energy. The thing is, whatever your sexual orientation is, someone is offering you order and structure. You know what I mean? I feel like they're going to, you know, what you've been looking for in life. You've been maybe you've been going through it. You've healed yourself and, and now you're like, you know, opening up to love and automatically this person steps in. This is a major message, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles sitting there and offering you a, an engagement. They're offering you, they're promising you a future. You are at the Eight of Pentacles where it's like you've worked very hard to reach this precipice, this point, And now you're about to reap your rewards. Some of you, this will be a positive message. But the cards that I got, and I usually, you know, I look at the cards sometimes if they're, if they're, they're you know, if it, it, I just didn't want to make this a long, you know, uh, video. For some of you, you're not following your intuition. So this is a snake. A wolf in sheep's clothing. We have the three of pentacles. So they're offering you an engagement, but it doesn't turn out. It doesn't, you know, unfold. The six of cups. Look at this crow. This is a minor message. You and your children have rebuilt your life. Your cups are full. And you rebuilt your home. You rebuilt your life. You know, birth of something, a re rebirth in your life. It was in the reverse. So they're, they're really, they want to take your nest egg. The six of cups is all about giving to others when we have things in our life. So this person knows that you have a generous heart. So they're trying to take away from you and your children. Okay. We have the six of wands. You will not be the victor in the wearing the wreath in this situation. This is not a victorious situation. This is a lie. You will get to the eight of pentacles, but bypass this. You do not need this person to be in your life to get to the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles is what you've done. And that's what they're trying to steal from you. They see that you worked hard. They're watching you. You worked hard. They want what you want. They see your worth ethic. You did not give up when everybody else would have. They try to make you give up and you did not. So this may not even be a love situation. This may be someone in your life that wants you to be, you know, nope, we don't, you know, they don't want you to succeed in life. So follow your intuition. Do what best serves you and your children. So we're going to start at the wheel of fortune. Life's ups and downs, the rhythm and flow of existence, expansion and movement. The wheel of fortune turns in your favor. The ability to ride with challenges and blessings, accept help from the unseen. And I feel like from the universe. You know what I mean? Put you and your children. Put yourself first for once in this life. You do not need someone to sit on your arm to um, be successful in life. You don't need someone. A relationship does not define you. It's nice to have someone by your side. But you know what? The right person will come. Do not settle for the first person that comes across your path. You know, even if they offer you the whole, make them prove it. I don't care if they wait a year, two years, three years. When you follow your intuition follow your intuition so we have the shadow side with the five of swords what do you dislike most in a people so five of swords is the far right here make a list of, of five irritating qualities of anyone you know circle the most annoying quality what uh what you circle is the quality you must um integrate into your own your own personality use your pr projection and feel uh, feel about others as a tool of self-awareness, stop blaming others. Look at your own limiting beliefs and behaviors. Accept all aspects of yourself with generosity and compassion. This is the key to freedom. Transform tight bounds, negative energies into a powerful force of regeneration and evolution through healing of self-honesty. And I, this is all what Chiron is about. Chiron is being, being honest with ourselves. You know, what, what, do we, what do we need to purge to move forward? Because I feel like things are moving forward. You know what I mean? And it's just like, you know, have you learned the lessons? Have you learned the value of yourself? 
you know, you are just fine with just you and your kids. Whatever this nest is, your home, whatever the nest is with the with the the crow and the kids, the crow and her little babies. You rebuilt your life. You're sitting there and you're able to take care of your kids. The card is in reverse. They want to steal your nest egg. They want to steal what, what you and your children have worked so hard to build. Do not let anyone do that. Free will. Stand up for yourself. So we're going to go to the King of Pentacles. So this could be uh, either a love interest or this could be a person in your life offering you order and structure. Time to invest in making financial plans. Father figure, very emperor energy. Growth, real estate, and earning potential. Being clever with investments. Handsome and slow. A rock solid word. Dependable personality. For some of you, yes, this will be potentials for a new beginning in love. You know what I mean? They will promise you engagements. But I am telling you, if this is someone from the past and they are promising you that they changed, they have not changed. I would go slow and steady. If anyone is willing to wait for your for you to be ready to move in and engage, even if you're engaged and you don't live in the same household, there we will be willing. They will cross mountains. They will go over mountains. They will travel five days to see you for one hour. So if they're, you know, if there's a lot of pushback, slow and steady is the major message here. You will see this per person for what they are. If you're getting that freaking, like someone punched you in the gut feeling, it's not, this is not the one. Taking your time, thinking things through, slow and steady energies win the race. Careful planning, realism in the face of what is before you. Hard work and diligence, complete dedication to a task. Message on the way dependable so keep an eye on your dreams you know and i would definitely follow your intuition queen of wands in reverse you are you are a psychic being we are all psychic beings we have to be open to receiving messages be aware that you're receiving messages but there this is a major message you know yes he's coming in or this they are coming in but the thing is it's like you know what they you know you work so hard to get to this eight of pentacles the wheel is turning on your side but do not let anyone come in and, and take from you. Even if they promise you the sun, moon, and stars. This could be someone in your life. Hey, you know what? Let's do a collaboration. We had the three of pentacles. Let's do a collaboration. Hey, let's get engaged. It's a collaboration of three. This is coming together. People coming together. And if it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't feel like it's a good suit for you, do not follow through. I'm sorry, but you know what? I'm not there. Keep things to yourself, especially because they're talking about the financial front. You're re reaping your rewards of all the hard work you've done. So don't let anyone, you know, this is a, you know, with the wind coming in, fall, you know, with the leaves falling from the trees. So, you know, I feel like they're saying, you know, winds are changing. Things are changing. You know, I definitely feel like when Chiron, you know, we'll have our last Mercury retrograde of the year. Chiron will be finished. Some of you will, you know, have the, 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 you know, knockings of love. But follow your intuition. Don't let anyone prey on you. You work so hard to get to this point. You know, I'm not here to try to scare you. I'm just, you know, put yourself out there if you're ready. You know, but do not let anyone steal your happiness. Don't let anyone push you into anything. Let them show you their true colors. They're pushing to move in? No, I'm sorry. That's a big red flag. Nope. Sorry. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. I got to, you know, when me and my, my children feel comfortable then we'll, we'll discuss but right now no 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 put your children first handiwork working hard at what you love diligence proud to show your talents and accomplishments time vi uh, evaporates as you are lost in quote unquote the right work the work you are here to do trust the results you have seen and continue to forge ahead Feel proud of yourself. You've earned it. So this is what I'm saying. Do not let this distract you. Do not let that take you away from what you're working towards. What you're accomplishing. You don't want them wiping this out. You worked so hard for this. When they showed the crow with the babies. You and your children worked so hard to build that nest again. Do not let anyone take it out. Do not let them knock you out of the tree. This is a rebirth. You saw the little babies there. She works hard to get to feed her children, to take care of her children. You know, do not let anyone steal that. You know, they're solid in that tree. Let me see if I can find the card. One second. 
Look at how solid they're on that tree. They build their foundation. They've rebuilt a solid foundation. She's in the crook of that tree. She's not sitting on no damn branch to get knocked down. She's in the crook of that tree. She's firm. You build your guys self a solid foundation. Do not let anyone blow you over. Do not let anyone come in and swiftly be like a thief in the night and steal it. Be strong. Be wise. Follow your intuition. Listen to your children. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Monday, August the 16th, 2021. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.